Look, I'm gonna answer this, this guy. He wrote in a question. I'm gonna answer it real quick before I jump on this hundred dollar problem. Guy asked me. He said, Gibson. He said, Gibson. Uh, how did you deal with all the mental rejection after? Hold on. Let me see if I can pull it up and read. Yeah, he said, Gibson. When you first started raising prices, did you have any trouble mentally dealing with all the rejection? Flip. No. Once I listen. Like I told y'all, I was cutting for peanuts, cheap and free. My schedule was so slammed with cheap work, all of the new work, I couldn't take on no new work. So instead of saying no, I just started giving ridiculous prices. I'm going to give you an example. I was cutting for $30. So I was, I had $30 cuts pouring out my ears and I still had to go to my full-time job. So anybody else would call, I'd be like, it's 50. They start saying, yeah. I said, okay, my price 59. Then I went to 60. Then, then, I, then I started throwing 60 out of everybody. I was like, okay, so I went to 60. Then I started throwing 70 out there. Everybody was like, okay, so now next year I'm throwing 80 out. Minimum, 80, minimum, 80, minimum, 80, minimum. If you don't raise your prices, you're slowly going out of business. 2020, zero turns. In 2020 or 2021, one of them, Skag V-Ride with the 26 horsepower, Kawasaki engines was eighty nine eight thousand dollars eighty nine like eighty six eighty seven eighty nine hundred out the door that was in like twenty twenty or twenty twenty one fast forward three years later those same mowers are fourteen thousand dollars most lawn guys have not raised their prices in the last two or three years they're still cutting at the same rate I have a list of clients I'm doing the five dollar increase on next year some clients I'm doing a ten dollar increase some clients I'm just slapped getting rid of. Listen. As you as you keep climbing higher and higher on the totem pole, the people on the bottom either you get rid of them, drop them off, or raise their price to catch up with everybody else. Dissolve the bottom as you elevate the top. Dissolve the bottom as you elevate the top. And with most people, what I learned having a full time job, once you hit that ceiling, like this welding job, I'm about to go get in about three or four weeks. This welding job I'm fixing to go get, they're doing a thousand dollar sign on bonus, sign on bonus at thirty one dollars an hour. I can stay on that job for about five years. All I'm gonna make is thirty one, and then after about around year six, I might get another dollar at thirty two. Man, look, you know what my price is gonna be five years from today if I'm still living. Man, if I'm still living, my minimum gonna be a hundred dollars five years from now, and zero turns gonna be twenty twenty five thousand. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How did I deal with it mentally? I didn't have a problem dealing with it mentally because see, I was fixing to lose everything. I'm about to lose my dog. I'm about to lose this truck. I'm in that's paid for. I'm fixing to lose it. Two months behind on my mortgage because I'm trying to set up, satisfy these cheap clients. Start raising prices. Start ele look. Let me show y'all something. When you start making more money in your business, you can help others. I told y'all all the money I'm all the money I make from YouTube goes to missionaries. I'm going to church tonight. They got church tonight on a Thursday. They got a missionary coming in preaching. A guy gave me a hundred dollars to do some extra work on his property, and he came outside with two fifties. When I go to church tonight, I'm giving this to the missionary. Here you go, man. Here you go. Guess what? I'm not going to write my name on the envelope. They're going to be like, hey, we're going to take up a love offer. Y'all can fill out the envelopes with your name. I ain't going to do that. I'm gonna, Look, I'm going to take this. Right, I'm gonna, let me show you what I'm going to do. I was, just, I was just having a conversation with God. I said, man, I need to keep them $100. Look, I'm going to take these 250s I'm going to wrap it in a dollar bill just like this. And I'm going to put it in the uh, love offering plate, boop. Now, if I wasn't charging premium rates, I couldn't do that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Gibson charging premium rates and living and eating good. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 Once you start making more money, you can help everybody around, me, around you, including yourself. So, look, let me get out here and cut this hundred dollar property yeah yeah i'm about to get a hundred dollars away and turn around and make another hundred dollars yeah yeah yeah, yeah.